Americans have started talking about banning TikTok. Now, this could take TikTok away from all. This was on my mind. It seems like almost every year, creators have this panic moment where they got to stop and think, oh my gosh, if this platform goes away or if it shuts down, what's going to happen to my career? If you remember, Facebook and Instagram had that day, you know, where it randomly disappeared and it didn't work. Then we went through an almost TikTok ban in 2020. It's like always something, almost every year. And everyone's back in this place of like, oh no, what am I going to do if it ends? Well, here's what you got to do. You got to start taking control of your audience. Stop building your whole friggin' audience on one platform. Get you a website, start an email list, be in control of where your audience goes. Why do you think platforms like Fanbase and Patreon and Podia and on and on and on have been created? Because they know that you are not in control of your audience on these platforms. They are never in your control because something like this ban or the bans before or the glitches that have happened in the past can always happen anytime unexpectedly. You never know. I don't know. It's a pretty risky business already to be a creator, but when you leave it up to the, like, to the hands of these politicians we have these days, or you leave it up to the hands of those who are behind the platforms, you're really going to be sitting there looking like, oh, that was a nice two years where I was making six figures and barely doing much. Like, so here's the thing. Here's the plan. Start your email list, get your audience to sign up so they can connect with you regardless of what happens to this platform and get them to follow you on your other platforms. Start your Patreon, your Podia or what have you where you can actually have access to your audience and they can see the content from you all the time without algorithms. Now we've been through a lot of these situations before. If you don't do anything, you're just waiting for the worst to happen. Don't say I didn't warn you.